Have you ever wondered, while watching a colossal container ship glide through the water, how on earth it comes to a stop? It doesn't exactly have a brake pedal, does it? You might be surprised to learn that ships do have brakes, but they're not quite the same as the ones on your trusty motor. Instead of stopping on a dime, like your car can with its fancy disc brakes, ships rely on a combination of clever engineering and good old-fashioned physics to slow down and come to a complete stop. It's a bit more complicated than just slamming on the brakes, but it's incredibly effective. One of the most iconic ways to stop a ship, and the one that probably springs to mind first, is dropping anchor. Anchors are big, heavy metal hooks that dig into the seabed, bringing the ship to a gradual halt. They're great for keeping a ship in one place, but not so much for slowing down quickly. That's where other methods come in. Think of it like this. Stopping a massive ship is all about increasing drag or resistance in the water. The more drag, the slower the ship goes. Simple, right? Now you might be thinking, my car has disc brakes and they work brilliantly. And you're not wrong. Car brakes are designed for quick stops on dry land. Ships, on the other hand, need to stop gradually in a constantly moving environment, not exactly a recipe for screeching halts. Instead of friction pads clamping down on metal discs, ships use things like reversing propellers and rudders to redirect the water flow and create drag. It's like using your car's gears to slow down instead of slamming on the brakes. Smoother and much less jarring for everyone involved. Just like cars, ships come in all shapes and sizes, and their braking systems vary accordingly. Giant tankers might use massive rudders to steer into the current and slow down, while agile tugboats rely on powerful reverse thrusters for precise maneuvering. No matter the size or type of ship, the basic principles of physics remain the same. It's all about understanding how to manipulate water resistance to control speed and movement. And that, my friends, is the art of stopping a ship. It might not be as simple as hitting the brakes, but it's certainly just as important for ensuring a smooth and safe journey across the waves.